Billions of Christians across the world have again celebrated the birth of Savior Jesus Christ for a second time under the threat of COVID-19. Hundreds have flogged worship places in Kampala and across the country to commiserate the day. At Namirembe Cathedral in Kampala, Reverend Bishop Wilberforce Chol Walida led the devotees. As parents, school administrators and learners prepare to resume studies early next year 2021, the man of God had some time for them. <laughs> Corruption and other forms of human rights violations exhibited in the year 2021 was also a concern to the clergy. We pray for the world, which is already Christ, that those who bear responsibility for the well-being of the nations may be inspired by the message of Christmas to work together in the cause of justice, freedom and peace. State Minister for Information, Communications and Technology, Joyce Nabosa Sebuguao, and the Nabagiriko of Uganda's Livia Naginda, Uganda Luchiko Speaker Patrick Luaga Mugumbuli, among others, participated in the day's prayers. I'm appealing to everybody uh, from today that Jesus came uh, to bring peace and uh, everybody to love each other so that we can have a peaceful country because God loves people when they are happy, when they, they, they understand him, and uh, to spread the gospel of God to everybody so that they can move as good citizens of this country. As we look forward, next year, the month of January, our children are going back to school. They have been away to, from school for the last two years, so they have lost a lot. When they lose, it's us also parents who lose. So I call upon all parents to observe these procedures and that don't forget that the other diseases or ailments are still around. Other sections of the congregation were equally happy to celebrate the day. People still need to celebrate the birth of Christ. It means a lot to them. So in, in the midst of the pandemic, in the midst of difficulties, hard time, celebrations like these bring a bit of cohesion, they bring people together, you know, so that maybe people can not forget about the bad times, but at least have a sense of hope. Robert Nyango, UBC News.